all in this video we are going to learn about number system in computer science so this is our chapter 4 in class 7 let us learn about the number system used in this computer and then how are we going to use the numbers in computer and how the computer is using the numbers okay so let us get into the video first what are called numbers a number is used for counting or to express the amount of some quantity it consists of group of symbols called digits which are arranged in a definite manner so we are using numbers for counting something or to express the amount like uh, how much uh, chocolates i have how many pencils i have how many pen i have so to express the amount of some quantity so we are using numbers for these reasons okay so we uh, these numbers consist of group of symbols which are called digits and they should be arranged in a definite manner definite is nothing but uh, it, it it should have some end that is what called definite manner okay so this is actually the definition of numbers okay so next we are moving on to the type of numbers it means it is classified into two categories first one is non positional number system and the other one is positional number system in non positional number system this a number system is used in early days by the human beings like they used fingers pebbles stones sticks uh, for counting the numbers okay suppose if they wanted to know how many goats they have they will have the same amount of stones in a place okay so every day when it go outside or when it come inside they will uh, just compare the number of uh, pebbles and number of goats that's it okay uh, that is what called non positional number system right so next one is positional number system which means what we are using nowadays which are used for doing the uh, calculations like addition subtraction multiplication division okay and each and every number is identified by its own position we are giving a position value to each and every number so that's why that is called position number system how are we uh, giving this position to the numbers right so uh, here is the explanation for positional number system suppose you have like a 4 3 7 8 9 we'll not call this number as 4 3 7 8 9 we are going to give the position for each and every number okay we'll start from the right side for 9 it is ones place 8 is 10th place 7 is 100th place then thousandth place and then 10,000 it will go on like that okay so like this we are giving position for each and every number in a definite number system okay so this is what called positional number system <clears throat> next we are moving on to the types of positional number system okay so we have four types decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system so these are the four types of position number systems available in a uh, computer number system okay so let us see all these one by one first let me start with decimal number system okay what is this decimal number system decimal number system has the base 10 okay for all these four types we are going to have some uh, number as a base okay and you have to start from zero and you have to count from zero zero one two three one when the count reaches 10 okay then how much ever digits we get that is what the digits for that particular base okay suppose I start from 0 for decimal okay let me check where it is ending 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 when I am touching 9 I am reaching the base 10 the total count is 10 0 to 9 the count is 10 okay so the digits the num decimal number system will have the digits up to 0 to 9 right so and this is how the decimal number system looks like 5 3 1 9 so this is what called decimal number system and here is the base is 10 for this okay and here we are giving position as it is a positional number system we are giving position for this decimals okay 0 1 2 3 so this is what called position number ones place tens place hundreds place we are giving the position value that we are starting from zero so uh, this type of decimal number system will uh, have the position value only up to 10 okay once it reaches 10 it will go to the next type of number system 
okay so here how to calculate this we are checking this the number 9 multiplied by 10 10 is a base and 0 is a position so we are using that as power okay and it will go on like that then we have to multiply it then we'll get the answer so how how this is being multiplied that i'll explain later okay so this is what called decimal number system next we are having about binary number system the base for binary number system is 2. So, when you start from 0, 0, 1, I am reaching 2 numbers. Okay. So, the digits are 0 and 1 only. So, here, this is how the binary number system looks like. Okay. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. This is how the, the binary numbers look like. Okay. So, how it is working? If you take a light, for us, it is on and off. But for the particular machine, it is 0 and 1. You might have watched this symbol in many power buttons. It will be like 0 and 1. Which means 0 means off. 1 means on. Okay. So, this is how it will work. This, will, this you will learn in physics in higher classes. Okay. So, 0 and 1 are the numbers which are used in binary system. These numbers are used by machines. All type of machines. Whatever you take. Your uh, tube lights. Or the lights which you use in your home, and then fan, AC, washing machine, fridge, even the remote. Okay, all these machines use only binary number system and they will work according to the numbers only. Zero or one. Zero means off, one is on. And we have suppose you are increasing the speed in the regulator of the fan. It has some numbers for that. Okay, for two, it has some type of some combination of zeros and ones. Okay, so that I will teach you when you get inside the binary number system okay so next we are going to learn about how to convert the decimal number into binary number and here are the steps to do it okay so this this is actually i have given us a theory part next i'm going to teach you with an example let us jump into the example so here is an example we are going to convert this 25 that's a decimal number into a binary value okay so for converting this for doing this we have to divide the given number by 2 okay how this process is happening let me explain first we are taking the 25 as it is a decimal number and we are going to convert this number into binary we have to divide the number by 2 okay so i'm just taking the division while doing the division all twos are 24 and here i'm getting the reminder 1 I'm just writing the reminder to the right side. So, while doing the division, you have to write the reminder to the right side. Okay. Next, again, I have to divide this 12 by 2. 6, 2s are 12. Now, here, I don't have any reminder. So, I'm just giving 0. Reminder is 0. Okay. So, next, I'm dividing this 6 again by 2. 3, 2s are 6. The reminder is 0. Again, divided by 2. Two ones are two. Reminder is one. Okay. So by here the division is getting over. I cannot divide a one by two. So I'm just um, closing it. Okay. Now how are we going to write the binary value? As I said, the binary values will have only zero and one. If you check the reminder, it has only zero and one. Okay. Now how to write it? Start writing from the bottom and go to the top. Okay. So while writing. Decimal value is 25 base 10 and the equivalent binary for 25 is 11001. We have to start from here 11001. So, so we have to start from the bottom and it should go to the top. Okay, so and we have we should not forget to write the base value when you are doing the conversion or whenever you are writing the value. Only for uh, decimal values, we will not write uh, the base value. Okay, so this is how you are um, converting the decimal number into binary number. Okay, so next we are going to see about how to convert the binary number into decimal number. Here are the steps to convert. That binary number into decimal number. Again, it's just a theory part. Let me take you to the example directory. So, here, while converting the binary number into decimal number, we are going to multiply the number by 2. Okay. So, this is the process. Let me explain how this is happening. Okay. So, first, we are writing the number 
one one zero zero one. This is the binary number, and I am going to convert this binary number into a decimal value. Okay. So while doing this, first I have to take the first thing. Okay. And uh, I am just going to take the first number one multiplied by the base value for binary is two power zero. From where am I taking this power zero? Here we have to write the position number. Okay. So let us write the position number first. For this, for this one, it is zero, one, two, then three, then four. So these are the position number for these binary numbers. Now we are going to divide it. One we are taking as it is the binary number multiplied by two is a base. This zero is the position position of one in the binary. Okay. Now. One multiplied by I'm just writing one multiplied by as it is and two power zero anything power zero it is one that is a formula okay anything power zero two two power zero two three power zero four power zero five power zero thousand power zero ten thousand power zero whatever it is that is considered as one one three that's a formula okay now one multiplied by one it is one so now I've completed the first step. Now the second step, I'm just taking the second digit, zero, multiplied by two power one. Again, two is a base. One is a position of this particular zero. Okay, so now zero multiplied by two power one. Anything power one, it is the same value. Ten power one, it is ten. Which is which means we are multiplying the same number by one. Okay, so zero. Multiplied by two is zero. Again, step over. Now take the third digit, zero multiplied by base value is two, position value is two, so it is two power two, two square. Okay, two power two means we have to multiply the two for two times, which is two into two. Two power zero, it is one. It is one, and then. Two power one, it is two. Okay, and then two power two, that is two multiplied two square. Okay, so here I'm just writing like two square. You have to write like two multiplied by two. Two twos are four. Okay, so here. Two twos are four, so zero multiplied by four it is zero. Okay, then I'm taking the next digit one multiplied by two power three. The base value is two and the position is three, so two power three is three times you have to multiply two. It is not two multiplied by three; it is two multiplied by two. Multiplied by two, three times you have to do it. It is not three into two. Okay, so two twos are four, four twos are eight. So here the value is eight. So one multiplied by eight is equal to eight. Now I am taking the next digit, one multiplied by two power four. So one multiplied by two power four is four times we have to multiply two, two. Into two, into two, into two. Okay, so two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight twos are sixteen. So one multiplied by sixteen that is equal to sixteen. Now I've done with the uh, multiplication. Now I'm going to add all these answers. Okay, so what I will get? I have to take all these numbers. One plus zero plus zero plus eight plus sixteen. So I will be getting twenty-five. So The binary value is one one zero zero one base two, and the bin decimal value is twenty five base ten. And this is how you have to do the conversion of binary number into a decimal number. Okay, so hope it is clear. Next, we are moving on to the octal number system. Okay, and what is called octal number system? Here, the base is eight. So start counting from zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the digits are zero to seven. Okay, 
and then example is here it should have the digits 1b up to 7 next we have hexadecimal hexadecimal the base is 16 if you count from 0 it is 0 to 9 we are reaching 10 then we are going to the alphabets for the next six digits we are going to the alphabet a is equal to 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 and f is 15 we are reaching 16 over here okay and the numbers will be looking like this 3 f a 3 is a number the decimal value f instead of f we should mention as 15 a we have to mention as 10 okay so this is how you have to mention you have to write down the hexadecimal number system okay next we are moving on to computer arithmetic okay so here computer arithmetic is nothing but uh, about the binary numbers binary arithmetic okay so binary arithmetic essential not only for all the computer it is essential for all the machines which we use in our home okay so here we have four types of arithmetic operations binary addition binary subtraction multiplication and division okay so in the next video i'll be teaching you how to do binary addition and subtraction okay so hope the types of uh, number system and the conversion of binary to decimal and decimal to binary is clear we'll meet you in the next video thank you all happy learning